I'm Richard with Mr. Quick out of Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm at a property here in Indianapolis, uh, water heater issues. Uh, my job as a field advisor is I come out and look at the situations, the problems, the causes, and the consequences, give the homeowner all kinds of different options, and then go over like installation things and how things should have been done and if they're done properly. So we're going to start with um, what a water heater is. A water heater is how you get your hot water throughout your entire home. So every home varies from size. So this here is a 50 gallon water heater, which is standard in most homes in Indianapolis area. So that being said, there's all kinds of different options from 30, 40, 50 gallon, all the way up to a tankless heater, which is the most efficient thing on the market. So if you're looking for something for longevity, that's what I'd recommend. So back to the age of what I was telling you, how you look up on certain units. And this is a Bradford White water heater. You actually have to go to their website and go to their serial number, the BE6253429. You look that up, it'll tell you everything about this water heater, what it is, everything when it was installed, um, the warranty that's still left on it. And that's how you look up the age of the unit of water heater. Now the average lifespan of a heater in Indiana is eight to 10 years. So if you're a proactive person, highly recommend getting it replaced, especially with this, this setting of a water heater. Because if this water heater ever leaked, it's gonna damage your floor, your drywall, wherever that's at. So it's always good to get them replaced max 10 years. Water heater, we have gas coming into the unit. You always wanna make sure you know where your gas shutoffs are which are always close to the manifold. And by Indiana plumbing code, there should always be a shutoff within hand's reach of a water heater. So this is your shutoff that's on. And if you turn it to the left or right, depending on how the valve is installed, that will be off. Other things you wanna look for is temperature settings. It's cause you don't wanna scold children or any of that. So you always wanna make sure like this one here, this is 120 on this dial. Every dial is different, but if you read through the manual, it will tell you what each dial is uh, temperature, what it should be set for in the temperature settings. So another thing too, um, that's very important on, especially on units, this unit, this is your shut off to it. Again, in line is on. And then when you turn it, this is, and this, here's a good cause right here. You should always practice shutting shut offs off because this one won't even turn, it's seized up. So at least every 90 days, practice shutting off your shut offs, not on your gas, but on your water throughout your entire home. So if this unit has started to leak, you would have to shut down your whole house because the shut off isn't working. Another thing that this heater doesn't have, which was installed in 2005, is an expansion tank, which is a lot of areas are starting to become code with that. What an expansion tank does is it takes the pressure off of the unit. So the best example I can give you is you have a water bottle, it does nothing. Now if you put 120 degree water into it or 130 degree, that water bottle is going to expand. That's what a water heater does on a constant daily basis. In this instance, this does not have anything to protect that. I would have done a floor saver, which is a water heater pan, because there's a drain close by. You can see where these drains are running to here. So there's your drain. If you had an aluminum pan and this thing ever leaked, it would leak into there. But still highly recommend every eight to 10 years because a water heater will leak wherever it's gonna leak from. Because it's, again, it's a thermal expansion tank. Three most common things that happen with a water heater usually is lack of maintenance. We're all great about maintaining our cars and stuff, but when it comes to maintenance on furnaces, water heaters, and ACs, we just kind of lack on that. So that's the most common thing and just not educated very well of how long a water heater actually lasts. But if you keep it maintained, you have great water quality and you flush it once a year, your water heater is going to last longer. Um, but those are the most common things I see is lack of maintenance is number one. And number two is not having any type of water quality to protect your investments throughout your house. A water softener protects everything, not only your water heater, but your dishwasher, toilets, all that stuff. Because again, like I said, Indiana's number one in the nation for hard water. So with that being said, this thing constantly, you're using hot water on a daily basis. That's why it's so important to keep it flushed. And then if you have a softener on top of that, you're definitely going to help the average lifespan out. And it's going to be so much more efficient for you as well. The, the third most common thing is it leaking. Again, that's lack of maintenance. 
um, just lack of knowing like when a heater is going to fail, just like everything has a lifespan on it. So most people, they see a water heater, it's working fine. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of scenario, which not with a water heater. Water can destroy your entire home if you're not proactive. We're gonna give you multiple options. It's gonna be a professional install done by Indiana Plumbing Code. It's gonna have a huge peace of mind for you, knowing that it's gonna have the floor saver to the expansion tank, to a shut off, that way you, if anything ever happens, an emergency, you have that shut off there. And we're licensed, we're insured, we're bonded, and we maintain it and educate you through the whole process.